to help us understand. Again, Genesis 6 means change of heart. Matthew 3 means change of mind. Now, have we mentioned sin anywhere? Did the Bible say you need to stop sinning? Is that what the word repent means? No, the word repent means to turn or to change, to think differently. Exodus chapter 13, where you're at, look at verse number 17. And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. Now here again, the Bible is a dictionary. Don't go to dictionary.com. Don't go to your Strong's Concordance. Don't use the app on your phone to learn what the Bible teaches unless you're just searching words. Because here if you search the word repent, God changes his mind. The very second mention in the Bible, it talks about people turning, returning. They were going one direction, they turned around. Look, the other day I'm driving up this road, I'm going north, I repented, I turned around, I started going south. It didn't involve sin. I was not in sin when I was going north. It wasn't a sin for me to go south. So plain and simple, the word means here to return. So Exodus chapter 13. So it's a change of heart, a change of mind, a change of direction. It's still not repenting your sins. The people that preach, you have to stop sinning to go to heaven, they are not saved. They are not Christians. I don't care if they put that as their status on Facebook. I don't care if they claim to be a Bible believer. If you try to tell me that in Genesis 6 you had to repent of your sins to be saved, you're a liar, you're a heretic, you're not going to heaven. When you change the gospel of God and you try to make it work, well, at a different time, brother, you just don't know. Back then, that wasn't written for us. Hey, every word of God is for us. The Bible is our dictionary. It's how we learn our doctrine. And if you avoid doctrine or if you change doctrine or if you change the gospel, woe unto you. Woe unto you. Listen, today there are many false prophets that want to pervert this word. If they can get this one word changed in your mind or in the mind of the lost, they can keep them in confusion. And we want to clear it up.